semi-finals of the World Championship back in the spring where only yeah. Ronnie yeah. O'Sullivan could deny Just him. So, here we go then. Our final match today on the main match table. First of four frames will go through. Joe Johnson alongside me, Philip Studd, in the commentary box for this one. Intriguing match-up here, Joe. Tom Ford, as we know, a very talented player who perhaps hasn't achieved as much as he might have done, but he's beginning to get some good results, and we all know how good a player Matthew Stevens is. Yes. Phil, it's um, <clears throat> a great player, Matthew Stevens, but Tom Ford, he's on his way. I think he just needs one good run and he'll be up there challenging for the top 16. I always like Matthew Stevens' game. He's such an attacking player. Could have won the World Championship at least once. Yes, alongside Jimmy White, I think Stevens probably regarded as the best player not to win the world title. Certainly a player who commands huge respect amongst his peers. And it's good to see him playing well again. He had quite a few difficult seasons, drop out of the top 16. Still only 35 years of age. There's still time for Stevens. I'm sure he'd love to add to his tally of titles. Just the one ranking success that came at the UK Championship a few years back. much more thickly than he intended. Well, so the first chance falls to Tom Ford. And as we've been saying so far in this tournament, always good to get that first frame under the table. Quick matches these, no breaks. And Ford is a player who by his own admission has not been as dedicated as he might have been in the past. And I think he's been inspired by the success Leicester stable mate Mark Selby. Nine. They grew up in the game together and we know what Selby's achieved. Already won the Masters a couple of times. He's been a World Championship runner-up. And I think Tom Ford now realises what he's got to do to emulate that kind of achievement. He's got the talent, clearly. 16. Seventeen. He's already got a 147 to his credit. Bit early to be talking about 147s, but that's three reds, three blacks. 25. Stephen's wondering costly that safety error will prove to be. Thirty-two touching ball. Touching three. ball called, but he was firing away from the red. So no foul called. And 
he's not hanging about. 40. 41. Very quickly into his stroke. Now, if he can play for this red behind the black, so he doesn't go into the other two reds, I could have done with just hitting that a little harder. 48. Always a little dodgy, these type of shots, where you've just got to roll it in dead weight. 49. Now, he may well play the cannon to the two reds here, but if he screws round the two cushions, finishes up somewhere where the white is now, for the red in the opposite middle. Try and make sure of the frame first. Well, chose to go into them, and at some stage, if he's going to make a maximum, he'd have had to have done it. Done it. So 56. that was a very good shot, and he's still on this red with the black to follow. 57. Now, doesn't need to go into them here, although some people attempted to do so. 50. Decided to go into them, and he's OK. He's on this red to the left corner. 64. What a start for Stom Tom Ford here. 65. Well, he's queuing beautifully, isn't he? Stevens made one mistake. Looks like it's going to be his last in this frame. <coughs> Crowd acknowledging the fact that 72. Ford is at the point with this red. Having clinched the frame, the question now is just how much further he can go. We talked about Mark Selby's 1-3-6 total clearance. He'll be going for the maximum here, Philip. Make no mistake. Playing for the more difficult red while well, he had the chance. And that's good thinking, that. 80. Oh, he got 80. a little kick, which took the pace out of the cue ball. And that's so unfortunate. I'm just trying to think if he can roll this black in, come past the blue for a straight red into the right corner, because if he decides to go in and out of balk, the red above the black is in, his w in, the, is in the way. So he's got to be very careful here. That's a very good shot. Missing the yellow and the brown. Thank you. Beautiful shot. 89. Already made a maximum, which I mentioned earlier, so there's no fear of making them. It came against Steve Davis back in 2007 at the Grand Prix in a match that Ford won 4-0 with two other century breaks. And what a fantastic start this has been. 96. Well, that was a really good shot. He's played that with a lot of left-hand side to come the right side of the red. Again, taking the more difficult red. Now he's got two reds lining up to go into that same pocket here. Well, there's the century, and this is a break. Ronnie O'Sullivan would be proud to make the pace at which he's played it. I'd be interested in to see just how much time he's took so far. He's not in the Ronnie O'Sullivan class at five minutes plus. But he's close. What a kick. Again, took the pace out of the cue ball. Now, 112. he's going to have to leave that cue ball in the middle of the table there. Don't push the pink to the cushion. Played it well. He played it perfectly. He's got a perfect angle now. To go up for the yellow. All of these points stemming oh. from his first shot of the match. Yes, After the he's, break. Left it, he's left it short though, and he needs the rest. Nicely played. And that's okay, he can reach that.
I think even Matthew Stevens is appreciating the skill we're seeing here. And you, you watch Tom Ford play snooker like this and you wonder what on earth he's doing down at 28 in the rankings. This is champion snooker. Again, a kick on the cue ball. But he's got a straight blue to the corner. Stun run through. It's there. Well, you'd think there'd be a few butterflies, but there's no sign of it from Tom Ford. He's simply oozing confidence, and he's one black away from a stunning maximum. Fantastic. Well played. What a treat for this crowd in Bulgaria. And they're on their feet, and who can blame them? That was a magnificent break, a 1-4-7, and one of the best 1-4-7 breaks I've ever seen. The pace at which he played it, with his first scoring contribution of the match,